on this edition of the news. Holy moly, there is a new figures in packaging reveal from one photo from Asia, and we're going to talk about them all. Plus, we've got a box to open from Goodies Toys. Awesome stuff. All this and more coming up. Welcome to my television, your home action figure news. Yes, today, well, yesterday for me, middle of the night, dropped an image, firstly, of this Princess Leia Yavin 4 with the ceremony dress and the, and the medal. And it's in a cabinet there, you can see. This is out of Asia, from Hong Kong. And there's Commander Wolf in there, bo Katans in the back, and a random archive figure in a cabinet with 250 Hong Kong dollar dues, which is roughly about what we pay for Black Series. Nothing special about that, but it's the first time we'd seen the packaging. The first thing that people jumped to was, why is it that color? Well, if you'd seen the Wedge Antilles helmet, that gave away the color for A New Hope. Yes, dirty brown, very similar to Mandalorian. Don't know why they went with that color, not white. <laughs> no, it's brown. Lovely. We all got brown. Brown it is. But saying that, it's a beautiful looking figure. A few hours after that, in the wee hours of the morning, turned up this picture from Hobby Base. This is what everybody's mind went explosive over. Wowzers. First in-hand look at Bib Fortuna that wasn't a prototype that they'd shown on the, the panel. Excellent. Right next to that, the first time we'd ever seen Ponda Barber in the New Hope box. Next to that, first time we've seen Fennec Shan. Now, Fennec Shan, we can zoom right in. The color of the box, you can see it's that foresty green looking thing, which you can find on the poster. I tried to debunk this by showing the guys on the live stream say characters from The Mandalorian Season 2 are up next and they mentioned Fennec Shan. Then I said, well, potentially could be Book of Boba Fett. That's why it's not part of the Mandalorian mural. It's not going to be because it's going to be the first one in the Book of Boba Fett. Miggs Mayfield, bit of a letdown having that helmet on his head, but still a cool figure. Could be anyone under there. Why did they do that? <laughs> From Rogue One is the Jetta Patrol Stormtrooper, Boba Fett Tython in Mando colored box, right next to him, Dr. Evazan in a New Hope box, very, very similar in color, and once again, our Princess Leia Yavin 4, a New Hope box. This wave is wave 31. It appears to be no doubles. This is the next wave, the wave that comes after the wave that everyone's still kind of hanging out for, but when is it shipping? As of now, we don't know. A lot of people have asked me in my videos of late, why aren't you saying anything about pre-orders and where av availability? We aren't getting that information. Some of this stuff we gets dropped. Nothing. Same with Geodo. Nothing. We don't get the information straight away. If it comes out later on, you say you can pre-order here, pre-order there. I believe the majority of these, if they're all in the one case, they're not going to be exclusive. They'll be available everywhere. It's just when they'll be available. Mm. But aren't they beautiful? They are, all look damn good on the show like that. Not a dodgy one amongst them. I'm pretty much happy if I got a whole case of that. That just wowzers. Lovely. The Princess Leia we have seen before because she'd been in the convention special box, the Power of the Force box. The Dr. Avazan and Ponda Barber come in the Cantina Showdown in their convention special box. Bib Fortuna, Minx Mayfield, and Jetta Patrol, and Boba Fett Tython have all been shown off in the live streams from the convention. And Fennec Shan is the only first time look. She was just a pipeline figure. Now that set of pipeline figures, the six, they're all been revealed. So according to yakface.com's site, have a look at this. The wave you just saw up on the screen is all listed. Then the wave underneath it is, may not be complete, but there's five characters there. The client, Omega, Echo, Death Watch Mandalorian, Ahsoka, five thus far. May add one to it. There might be a couple of doubles in the set. We'll get to see how that pans out. Moving on to some more information about another deluxe figure. This also from yakface.com. Now, we already got a deluxe figure, which is the first Mando. But when the TCIN and the DPCI is different, we're looking at potentially a figure from the Book of Boba Fett. At the moment, it's just a rumor of what the character will be. Speculate in the comments. $31.49 US cents. Of course, the obvious choice there is the... Boba Fett sitting on the goddamn throne. Wowzers. What kind of thickness will that box be if the throne is quite deep? Because these only go so far. Because with the 
deluxe boxes, they stretch out. Maybe they put the throne on the side. I don't know how skinny is the throne going to be. Let me know in the comments. Maybe they put in a big giant fat box. Don't know. Let's get into some unboxing. As I said before, Goodies Toys here in Australia. I've got myself a new figure. I want to thank Goodies Toys because I'll open this up and have a look. I don't know if he knows it's me or not, but he's packed this chocolate block and this is pretty damn cool. I think he knows. Oh, it's got my real name and my real address. <laughs> and he's sort of worked out. This is for usual Mike. So he's done a really nice job of wrapping this up. And he went and got... He gave me some extras. I didn't... <sighs> Thank you so much. There's my invoice. And he's written on it. Your order was packed by Andrew. Andy, that's the boss. Hi, Mike. A little extra return of the Jedi for you. Keep up the good work on the YouTubes. Andy at Goodies Toys. Well, thank you, Andy. <laughs> I have a baggie. Oh, look at this! <laughs> Weakway! Palpatine! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Olaya! And... Admiral Ackbar. It's a trap. Thank you very much. That is very kind of you. But that's... That's just that's just an extra gift on top of the item I'm going to show you. So I can show you how well a box inside a box. Look at that! Look at that! I know you guys in the states complain about your shipping from like Target and Walmart. You're paying like four bucks across the country, and pretty much it's cheap shipping, so they just chuck it in a padded mailer and off it goes. And I feel bad because you guys are like it's destroyed. Here in Australia, we pay a lot for postage, especially internationally. It's oh, it's brutal. It's brutal. But here in Australia, everything's at a cost that everybody gets looked after in this way. It's like, oh, everything's wrapped up really nice. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, it's even, wow. I'm trying to show you how nice everything is. This is so good. More to unwrap. Dun, 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 dun. There he is. Hang on. There's two. <laughs> Andy, oh, you're spoiling me. You give me Kenna and an extra figure. Let's start with the extra figure. Oh, this is very generous of you. Thank you. Lando, from the new wave of the vintage collection. VC205 comes in the wave with IG88, Tebow, and... There you go, smoothie. <laughs> oh, wow. See, so even put the plastic on him to stop the scuffing of between them. <gasps> Minty Fresh! Palpatine is Jedi. I don't know what it is, I love Jedi stuff. It's just like, I know everyone's like, Empire Strikes Back is the greatest Star Wars movie of all time. This one, VC200, I can show you that on the back. VC200. What an awesome looking figure you are. Thank you very much, Andy. How cool is that? Thank you very much. That's awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed today. Let me know your thoughts on that picture from Hobby Base. Wow. It's, it's too bad they just showed a picture of eight and we zoomed in on all of them. I hope over the coming weeks they actually take images individually of those so we can have a little look at the sides of the boxes so we can sort of make some pictures together. That would be awesome. Appreciate you tuning in. Comments down below. Also, members of the, if you want to become a member of the channel, hit that join button. It all helps out the channel. If you'd like, pick yourself something up from Amazon with the link in the description down below. Also, the Redbubble store, you can get some merch with Usual Mike Television on it. If you'd like to follow me on social media, I'm on Twitter at Usual Mike 30 or on Instagram at Usual Mike TV. And if you haven't done so already, hit subscribe, tap that little bell for notifications, slap a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. All the best. Thank you, Andy.